And hello everybody, I'm back with this video and I'm going to be talking about Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic's remake. So this is from Aperion. They basically created a remake for Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1. We're going to be seeing a couple of zones or a couple of worlds like Lower City Taurus and Tatooine for, for some, some locations. I know this has been cancelled and a lot of people have not you know, known about this project or some people have known about this project. But what I'm trying to do is by creating Knights of the Old Republic videos, I'm trying to spread awareness uh, for Disney and other people that have not seen this before to let them know that this once existed and once was being created by a group of hardcore Knights of the Old Republic fans. So by sharing this, showing people what basically we could get uh, and showing Disney from all people in LucasArts that there's still a market for Knights of the Old Republic games, merchandise, and everything else. I'm one of the biggest Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic fans. I think I've played Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic uh, 1 and 2 at least up to like 10 to 15 times uh, since I since like 2008, when, when, once I, when, the first time I've actually seen the game. And I even play it to this day. I am actually going re, replaying it as we speak. And yeah, so I just want to keep spreading the awareness of uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and maybe Disney can pick, pick up on this or at least know that there is a fan base still behind Knights of the Old Republic and Darth Revan and everybody uh, just loving everything in the storytelling and everything about the games. And maybe we get a remastered from for Knights of uh, the Old Republic 1 and 2 from Bioware or somebody else that EA... Uh, decides to give because they have the license as we speak but in by the end of 2020 and 2021 their license contract is ending so uh disney has a chance to give their license of star wars gaming uh to another company maybe like ubisoft or you know any other bethesda or whatever they feel like uh whoever they feel like they give it they want to give it to or they might just continue and extend the contract with ea now i know a lot of people don't like ea because of loot boxes and the monetization that they do but again i'm doing this for star wars fans and hopefully spreading more awareness that there was a project of star wars knights of the old republic out there that got canceled by disney a good three years ago now but because my YouTube channel has exploded and there's a lot of people watching my videos, I feel like I can I, I can make a change. Uh, maybe maybe a little bit, not that much, but still, this is why I'm making these videos and hopefully uh, more people can agree and people that love Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and still play it to this day or have played it and still have fond memories of it, going dark side or light it didn't, doesn't really matter, would... I, I prefer dark side, but it doesn't really matter. Let's just spread the awareness to people. Let them show that there is still Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic out there and that there's still fans wanting to play. And Darth Revan, or Revan in general, is one of, one of the most favorite characters in Star Wars lore for most people. And playing Knights of the Old Republic number one, that's where Revan shines. So I feel like they would need to do a remastered at least and maybe if the remastered was successful we'll get a remastered for KOTOR 2 and then hopefully a sequel to KOTOR 3 or maybe even a prequel to KOTOR uh, 1 so we have the Mandalorian Wars you know you play as Revan you have Malak uh, as, at your side you betray the Jedi to go fight for the Republic and you leave the Jedi Order that would be freaking amazing fighting Mandalorians and the whole world would be set on fire if you guys have read the Knights of the Old Republic comic book with Zane totally recommend that uh, one of my favorite comic books from Star Wars but let's get to the video now and check this stuff out hopefully you guys are down for Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and if you have any friends that are Star Wars fans and don't know anything about Knights of the Old Republic hopefully you guys will just talk to them and you know and show them their original games and maybe they want to play it. I share it to all my friends, even though a lot of my friends that love Star Wars or, or are very new to Star Wars don't want to play the Knights of the Old Republic because of the graphics. And I said, one day when the remaster comes out, all my friends are going to play it. And I have a Discord group with friends inside there that like Star Wars, but they've never played Knights of the Old Republic and don't know much about Revan because... Whenever they try to play Knights of the Old Republic, they just can't get into the combat system. They can't get into the graphics, even though that they do like the decision making that SWOTOR does in Star Wars The Old Republic. 
they just can't get into Knights of the Old Republic. But let's watch the video and let's check out this remake that, that was shut down a good three years ago. Maybe two years, but almost three years ago. Let's check this out. We're going to be checking out Lower City Taurus as right now. This was an alpha stage of production for the game and we're in Lower Ta Taurus. As you guys can tell by the lights and the skyscrapers going to the sides and everything, you usually cannot see that in Knights of the Old Republic because it was limited to its time and technology, which kind of sucks. But again, just going down into the lower city Taurus through the elevator is amazing. I am like one of the number one Star Wars fans and I know Revan, uh, he gets a lot of love from the Star Wars community and I just really hope that Disney will finally after six years of owning Star Wars, seven, six or seven years since Lucas sold the rights to Disney, finally give us something KOTOR related. Now we're checking out the Endar Spire. You can tell us this stuff is still in uh, alpha stages, but it was shut down so that it's no longer being worked on because Disney sent them a cease and desist uh, letter. If they didn't stop, they would get sued and they would lose all the money that they have. Or get sued into the ground and then, you know, basically uh, end up going to jail or something because they're not supposed to use this property. Just look at the flames, look at the fire. The dark hallways. And now we can see that the Sith Troopers have been changed a little bit. They don't look like they're black and gold standard. Uh, they, they are now just black with white eyes. I kind of I don't mind the look. And we can see that you're using a blaster. Like in a first person kind of view, but it was going to be third person and first person. They didn't just want to leave it first person. But you can like tell that you're on the Endar Spire and that, you know, you're running to the escape pods, you know. With this being pre-alpha, they didn't really add too many NPCs. So you can't really see, uh, you know, Karth and, you know, the escape pod launching. Sadly, we didn't really get that kind of footage. But now we're on Anchorhead Tatooine. I mean, Anchorhead Tatooine has been used through Star Wars movies and now the Mandal Mandalorian insane amount. And with the Mandalorian Season 2 coming out on October 30th, uh, we're probably going to be headed back to Tatooine a couple of times because uh, if you guys have seen the trailer, we land on Tatooine and we see shots of Tatooine. So that's going to be uh, interesting. We know that Anakin and Luke both lived on Tatooine. Anakin was born on Tatooine and Luke was taken to be hidden from the Empire or Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine by Obi-Wan Kenobi on Tatooine. So, yeah. Now we're at Upper City Terrace. So, if you guys remember when you start the game and you come down and you're on Upper City Terrace, you would see a lot of... Uh, Sith troopers walking around with a lot of uh, humans and aliens walking around as well. And then you would go to that racist human and you can talk to him too. And then you can either go dark side or light side and then side or side against. Man, just look at that ship. Like, I agree that this sh there should be like, you know, ships flying around... But it was still on a Sith blockade. I don't know if the Sith would fully accept small vessels that flying around like that because it was being blockaded uh, to try to stop them from entering. With that, that's the end of the video. So we've seen in this video Lower City Terrace, Endar Spire, the inside of Endar Spire, Anchorhead Tatooine, and of course, uh, Upper City Terrace. Okay guys, so again, just reiterating what I said. 
I'm trying to help spread awareness to Disney and that there's still a market for Star Wars that's the Old Republic merch and games. I mean, I think all of us are Star Wars fans and we can we can agree that only Star Wars uh, fans that like to watch the movies and maybe the Mandalorian TV show, not really the, they don't really watch the Clone Wars because I have actually had a lot of friends that like the Star Wars movies and they've seen Darth Maul in Han Solo and they're like, wait, didn't he die in The Phantom Menace? When is this taking place? You know, and he looks different because they never watched the Clone Wars and even though that breaks my heart, uh, I there's nothing really I could do about it. So to get Knights of the Old Republic to the standard of uh, the original trilogy and the, the prequel trilogy, hopefully not the sequel trilogy because we know that a lot of fans don't like that, even though there's many parts that are okay, but some parts that are pretty bad in those movies. I'm, I'm mixed feelings with the sequel trilogy. Other than that, uh, hopefully you guys talk to more friends, share this around. Let's try to get KOTOR you know, on Disney's radar that maybe we can make some money selling and creating this game you know, or a remaster at the minimum because Disney, you can have my money. With that, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and peace out, peeps.